What's up? So I had a question from a viewer. Um, he wrote me, and you know, obviously people come to me for advice. And you know, he asked me this. He said he had a situation with an ex-girlfriend of his. So apparently they hooked up recently, and she decided to dump him after they hooked up because he couldn't get it up. And then afterwards, um, they ended up seeing each other a while later. Uh, she comes and she's like telling him about how she's dating this new guy who's like totally satisfying her in the bedroom. Um, and he's got like, you know, a bigger tool than he has and all of this stuff. Um, yeah, so it was bad. Obviously, he was very distraught after hearing all of this stuff. You know, why would a woman say this? Um, is there, is this really that important to them? Uh, these are kind of the questions that I get from a lot of men because and women know this, one of our deepest insecurities is how we perform in the bedroom. So what happened here? Well, the first thing that I said when after I heard this story, I said, hey man, one of two things is happening. Either you're dealing with someone who is a complete and utter terrible human being, or you did something terrible to her to make her act this way. My guess is, it's probably a little bit of both. And turns out from the messages, I wasn't far off. So it turns out like he had done something. Um, I'm not gonna get into specific details of it, but basically he was texting some other girl. They were sexting. And so what happened was that now she feels to feel, she, she starts feeling sexually inadequate because he's texting, sexting this other person. Apparently she never got over it and now she's still being angry at him for it and she's trying to get back at him by making him feel inadequate sexually. This is usually what happens. Like nine times out of 10, whenever a woman is speaking badly about a guy's performance in the bedroom, not all the time, um, but a lot of the time it's because he did something to piss her off uh, in some way, shape or form uh, somewhere else. You know, honestly, maybe he didn't call her back and she's bitter about that <laughs> or whatever. So, so that's the only time women usually talk about that sort of stuff. Not every time, there are some mean-spirited women out there that are just suffering from you know, a lot of hurt within themselves and they lash out at men in general. And so that's why they say things like that. Um, but in my opinion, most of the time, that's what's happening. So what should you do if you are in a position like this, okay? If you are in a position where a woman is speaking badly or you know, talking about your sexual performance in the bedroom, like you're not doing a good job or whatever, maybe she's talking about it to her friends or to other people, how should you react, okay? First of all, number one, do not let it affect you. I understand it's gonna get underneath your skin and that's why they're saying it in the first place, okay? Don't let it get underneath your skin. Realize that it's probably something else going on that she's really mad about, okay? Because the truth is when it comes to performance in the bedroom, it usually can be worked out, especially if it's a one-time thing. The only time it really, the only time a woman's ever really gonna leave you if you have a one-time bad sexual performance is if it's a one-night stand and that's the only reason why she's there is to hook up, <laughs> right? So if you are in that position, yes, it's gonna matter. But if you've been seeing that person for a while like he was, you know, an ex-girlfriend type situation, um, then there's probably other things going on. So really that there's other things going on don't look at what she's saying look at why she's probably saying it okay so this first thing don't let it affect you if you don't let it affect you you can move on to this next stage so for instance she comes at you she's saying hey you couldn't get it up like you don't know what you're doing blah blah blah, blah. like I'm gonna find another guy who can satisfy me you're just like whoa 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 hey is is everything okay like is everything all right between us like you know did I do something to hurt you you know if I did I'm, I'm very sorry like is, is everything all right and you come to her with that kind of attitude where clearly you're not making it about you, you're not getting defensive, you're not shouting, shouting things back. Hey, well you did this and you know you are blah, blah, blah. Don't say any of that stuff. You just come with, you come with a sense of love, of caring, and above all, you don't let those like, things that she's trying to hurt you uh, hurt you. Because if she can get underneath your skin, she's gonna try harder to keep doing it. And it shows a, little, a level of insecurity. So you show confidence and then you show caring and love towards her. I can almost guarantee you that will diffuse the situation and then you'll be able to get to the bottom of this. If he had done this, she probably would have said, yeah, look, listen, like, I just can't stand that you were sexting that girl and I haven't gotten over it yet. You know, I might have not have said it in those words, it might have taken some time to get to there, but at least it opens it up for that conversation and you can diffuse the situation uh, very easily. You know, with my clients, with my, my own personal life, I've never had a situation where a woman's literally just spreading lies just because like, you know, she just wants to say that this guy was inadequate in the bedroom, okay? If she likes you, she'll never do that. The only time I've seen that is when something else happened that she got really pissed off about. Either maybe he had sex with her once and never called her again even though he said he would, um, and then just kind of like discarded her and treated her like dirt. Or, um, you know, something like this happened. More likely that, you know, he ended up 
flirting or dating or hooking up or cheated on her or something, some shape or form, that thing kind of happened. Uh, and now she's trying to get back at him for that because she feels sexually inadequate, so she's going to try and make him feel sexually inadequate as well, too. It's kind of a tit for tat kind of thing. That's usually how people, um, that's usually how people in general will react to situations. So if that ever happens to you guys, don't think that like your sexual performance in the bedroom is like the be all end all when it comes to women. Yes, it does matter. Yes, if you want to get better at that, you should watch other videos on my channel. But deeper connection, you know, treating people with respect, you know, being confident, like those kinds of things are going to matter a lot more in the grand scheme of things. And ultimately, if those things are threatened, they are going to turn to the stuff that's going to hurt you the most. And uh, usually that's that. All right. Well, if you stay to the end, uh, my name's Lloyd. Uh, I come up with videos like this every single week. So thanks for watching you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing and good luck out there, you guys.